Right, this is Hogwarts Legacy on a GTX 1650 with FSR 3 frame generation off. Just to show you my settings quickly, um, I've got uh, the medium settings preset and then FSR uh, 2 is set to quality. And uh, just have a look, this is the level of performance. See, the game looks pretty good. It actually runs pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. But we want better than that. So I've already got the FSR 3 frame generation mod installed. So what you do to activate it is go to settings, uh, go to uh, upscale type, and you want to change it to NVIDIA DLSS. And then you want to switch on frame generation because that's just going to uh, smooth things out. And then make sure that NVIDIA reflex low latency is on. And whereas previously we were getting in the 50s, now we're getting 80. And I've done this a video previously on the frame generation mod on Hogwarts Legacy. It never felt quite right. Whereas this time around, it actually feels like the 86 frames. Happy days. So just to show you a little bit more of the performance, or just do a little bit more running around. Look, it's not perfect yet, but it definitely is better. Previously, I recommended switching over to XESS but it made the game very laggy and actually made it feel like the previous FPS that you were at. Whereas now, um, you add in the optional NGVX or whatever it is and that actually sorts out uh, DLSS. And as you can see, the frames that we're achieving are pretty damn good at our settings on a GTX 1650 laptop. I don't want to fight. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the updated method to install. I'll catch you in a second. Right guys, to install the files, before you even do that, what you want to do is, if you're on Steam or if you're on Epic Store, you want to get rid of the in-game overlay. So in Steam, you go to Steam, Settings, uh, In-game, and then make sure the a Steam overlay while in-game is off. And that's done for Steam. And then for Epic Store, what you're going to do is you're going to go to C Drive, Programs, x86, Epic Games, Launcher, Portal, Extras, Overlay, and delete anything in this file and folder. And then maybe, uh, look, I don't have the game on Steam or Epic Store. I do have the uh, version. Uh, if you are experiencing issues, just close off um, MSR Afterburner and River Tuner before you launch the game. But that's if you have problems. Otherwise, I don't think you actually need to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using the latest version of the files, 0.9.0. And then because Hogwarts Legacy has FSR 2.2, what you're going to do is you're going to open up this folder and then you're just going to copy all this to your desktop. Boom. And then in optional, in, or optional NVMGX DLL, you want to copy that as well. Boom. And it's vital that you copy that because that actually fixes all the previous problems that there were. So now that you copied all that to your desktop, go to wherever Hogwarts Legacy is on your hard drive. Uh, for me, it's over here. And then we're not just going to merely install it over here. We're going to go to Phoenix, Binaries, Windows 64. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut that. Boom. And then from there, what you're going to do is you can just launch Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to let the game load, it does take a very long time, so I don't want to stretch this video out too much. What I'll do is, once I've gotten past my shaders and all that, I'll just skip past, um, uh, or, or I'll change over to GeForce Experience and show you how to properly activate frame generation. Right guys, I'm in game and I've switched over to GeForce Experience, so to, once you've installed the files, what you want to do is, just go to settings um, and then go to the upscaler and then going to change from AMD FSR 2 because since you install the NVGX whatever uh, AMD FSR 2 doesn't um, uh, doesn't activate frame generation you actually need to set it to NVIDIA DLSS that activates frame generation and then frame generation button ungraze and then you do that and it gets rid of ghosting and HUD elements and then just make sure that NVIDIA low latency is on. And that's how you do it, boys and girls. And what you'll notice is whilst in game, you've got much higher frames, 
and it actually feels like the frames that you're playing at as opposed to just having high frames but still feeling very laggy anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to smash the like button if you have any questions hit me up in the comment section and as always have a good day cheers